all right guys welcome back to another tutorial and in this video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a real quick overview of the interface because whenever I first started out with Android Studio it was all kind of overwhelming and kind of confusing it just made me feel uncomfortable not really knowing what any of this stuff was so what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna go through piece by piece and talk to you guys in detail what everything means instead as we need the tools that's what I'm gonna be talking to you guys about okay so this is you know the AVD manager and this is how you use it so instead of overwhelming you guys giving you you know the intricate details of what everything is I just want to give you guys a real general overview to make you guys a little bit more comfortable with the inter interface Blah, can't talk alright so of course at the very top this is simple up here we have the menu bar pretty much all of our additional tools and settings is well as some you know very common stuff we can find in the menu bar nothing new there now under it we have a toolbar so all of these little icons this is actually called the toolbar right here now as we saw in the last tutorial what the toolbar is is basically shortcuts to more commonly used aspects of the program for example um maybe this SDK manager well we can also get there with tools Android SDK manager but since we use that quite a bit that's why they put that in the toolbar now if you ever want to customize your toolbar I recommend just keeping it the same but if you ever have a tool that you find yourself using a lot you can actually right click in this empty area and click customize menus and toolbars and then you can click the little programs that you either wanna you know remove or add again you click on them and all of your settings are right here to either add them or remove them from your toolbar pretty intuitive so that's what that little chunk of this uh, Android Studio is now underneath this this little thing right here that looks like a, I don't know kind of a file directory explanation on um, like steroids or something this is actually called the navigation bar and basically what it is is it shows the path to whatever current file you're working on so this right here the navigation bar is pretty much the same of, as this thing up here so it's pretty much a long file path now the cool thing about this is that like I said it is pretty much a file path on steroids because if you ever go to a directory you can actually click on it and it's going to show you all the contents of that directory so pretty sweet and again it's a file path to whatever current file you're working on so if you change a file this is going to change as well now this main area that I cannot ignore is the editor window so the editor window is where we're going to be spending most of our time and it's pretty much the main area to show whatever file you are currently working on so right now um, we'll talk about this designer later on it's pretty much as you probably could have guessed how you lay out all the widgets and stuff for your interface now we're also going to be looking at this a lot which is pretty much the text view of the file pretty much where we're going to be editing the source code and doing a bunch of cool stuff but anyways this main area shows whatever current file you're working on you probably could have guessed that now over here on the left hand side this is called the project window now whenever I am developing an app what I like to do is I like to change this drop down from Android to project so as you can see whenever you change it to project it's gonna list every directory in your entire project now one of the most important directories is called app now this is where all your source core source code and all your uh, like main layout files are so if you just want a real condensed view of all the important files then you can just hover down to Android and I actually keep that on Android for this tutorial but if you ever want an overview of your entire project again you can change that to project but just for these tutorials um, all the source code and stuff is in this Android drop down so I'll stick with that I, uh, I don't know I think it'll be a little bit easier I guess alright so we pretty much cover this whole interface except for these things on the side these little bars that say like project structure all of that crap so first of all as you can see whenever I click it it toggles whatever window is on and off so this is the project window and I'm gonna click that it's gonna to toggle that visible 
or I don't want to say it, it's invisible, but you know, visible, invisible, I'll say that, whatever. So if you ever feel that your entire interface, it just looks kind of cluttered and you decide that you want to hide all of these quick window bars, then go down in the very bottom left corner and you're going to see this little square gray icon. This is the toggle either to show or hide all of these quick window bars. So click that and they're all going to be hidden. Click it again. Show them all. Hide, show, hide, show. can do it all day if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and click that again so it shows them all because that's the default. Now another thing I want to point out is if you hover over it, it's going to give you all of those quick windows. So I don't know, maybe you're on, uh, I don't know, maybe you're on the structure and you want to get the project again, but you're too lazy to bring your mouse all the way back up there. So you can just go this, click project, and it's going to pop up for you. Again, um, just two different ways of doing the same thing. 